Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to your Monday handwriting lesson. Today for handwriting, I want you to open up your handwriting book to page 75. And just like on Friday when we wrote a paragraph, today we're going to continue writing a different paragraph. Let's take a look at some instructions on how to write this paragraph. Paragraph part one. Now we get to write another paragraph. Remember, when we start a paragraph, we always want to indent the word like we did here in the word some. In fact, I want you to go ahead and try this sentence. Some animals have hard shells. Go ahead, write it, give it a try. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the next two sentences. You can see them, they are outside. Now, if I'm going to be a good sentence writer, I really need to think about three things. I need to make certain that I have starting with a capital letter, that I leave good space in between my words, and that I complete my sentence with punctuation. So take a look. So again, I'm going to begin my Y with a capital. So I'm going to slide down, slide down. Now notice that the rest of the letters in the word U are all small letters, so they're going to fit right in between my double lines. So O is a magic C letter, so I'm going to make a magic C. I'm going to keep on going. Great. U I'm going to down, up, down again. I have a nice space. Remember again, a nice space between your words. You can Magic C, I'm going to go up like a helicopter bump, back down bump. My N is a diver letter, so I'm going to back down, I'm going to swim up and over. Now my C, you see I'm going to get S with a little magic C. I'm going to start, go around, stop there, start. Great. I'm going to make sure that I have good space there. I'm going to come down, cross my T. I'm going to dive down, swim up, bend over. Dive down, swim up and over. Now I'm not done with my sentence because I need to do what? I need to make sure that I have punctuation at the end. Now I'm going to move over a space to make certain that I can start my next sentence. So it starts with they. So I'm going to make a big line down. Yep, I'm going to cross my T. I'm going to dive down, swim up and over. Great. You see I've got another E here. I'm going to slide down. Now remember the Y, the lowercase Y is going to come below because it's a descending letter. Great, I've got another magic C letter here. My R is again another diver letter, so I'm gonna dive down and swim up and over. Great, I've got another E. Now I'm gonna finish my word up. Of course, I'm gonna add some space here and make sure I have enough space in between my words. Great, now of course my D it can be tricky if I don't start with the magic C. Now, am I finished with my sentence? No, because remember, we've got to add some good punctuation. So now again, remember, when we're writing sentences, uh, we want to make certain, again, that we have a capital letter, enough space between our words, punctuation, and when we begin a paragraph, we want to make certain that we indent. All right, let's go ahead and continue our lesson on how to write a paragraph. Paragraph part two. Now it's time for listen and write. I'm going to say a sentence to you. We've given you the first letter of the sentence, S, for the word shells. 
Now we're going to write the sentence, shells give animals their shapes. Here we go. Again, we've given you the capital S for shells. S-H-E-L-L-S, -L shells. Now, before we write our next word, remember to put enough space after shells and before the next word, which is give. Our next word is give, G-I-V-E, give. Now, make sure that you have enough space between give and your next word, which is animals, A-N-I-M-A-L-S, animals. Now, make sure that you have enough space after animals and before the next word, which is there. T-H-E-I-R, there. Our final word is shapes. S-H-A-P-E-S, -E shapes. But are we done with our sentence? No, that's right, we've got to add punctuation. Make certain to add a period right after shapes. Your sentence should read, shells give animals their shapes. Great job. Remember, if she happened to go too fast at any of those parts of directions on how to write your paragraph, feel free to pause the video so that you can catch up. I really like how she's helping you write your paragraphs today. All right, before I go, I want to show you some real life objects in our world. An oyster. Our world. That oyster was one animal that has a shell. Great job today, everyone. See you soon.